It's Genesis on Six Music. It's the choice of Noel Gallagher, our special guest. This program last cost me an absolute fortune. I had to go out and buy that Animals album, that real McCoy track we play all the time yeah, now really. on the program, which is oh, you're welcome, genius. By the way. Yeah, no, really. Thank you. <laughs> this, though, when I saw the list this year, Genesis, side two, track one from Genesis to Revelation, The Conqueror. Uh, by Genesis, that was the biggest surprise this year. I never. It's just an era of Genesis I didn't know. Well, so I'm on tour, and uh, Chris Sharrock, my drummer, we were talking a little bit hazy in the dressing room. We were talking about something or psychedelic songs that have fallen through the gaps of time. Have you ever heard the Conqueror by Genesis? <laughs> oh, mate, yeah. I won't have anything to do with Genesis, even though I will state now for a fact that I. Do like Peter Gabriel, and not because he's a dad at our school, and I see him regularly. Right, he's okay. a nice guy. Right, okay. yeah, yeah. And Sledgehammer is a tune. If you're listening, Peter. So the net, I woke up the next day, and he sent me a link to a thing, the Conqueror by Genesis, and I put it on, and that piano riff, and I'm like, what? He was not ripped that off before. That's a disgrace. <laughs> and on goes the song, and I'm like, now I will tell you, right. The first thing I did was I googled it and i was like if i think who's playing drums on this is playing drums on this that's it then that's it it's over it's allowed because he's not playing drums on it <laughs> he was nowhere near it if so you... we're allowed to like it and it's brilliant <laughs> and there's at least i'd say six great songs on that first genesis record which i'd never that. even heard of yeah it is a terrific, I mean, that track, I, mean, I haven't listened to the rest of it, I will do now. There's a track uh, called Silent Sun, which, honest to God, if you're listening to Peter Gabriel, the lawyers are going to have to get involved pretty soon, because I am going to rob that <laughs> endlessly until I can't make music anymore. <laughs> I think I, I was scarred by Can't Already Love when I was a kid. Right. Uh, clearly. But, um, so wh when I'd done my last gig at Brixton Academy, Johnny Marr got up to play with us. I were in the dressing room before, and I said to him, why would you stand on Genesis? And he was like, I'm not in Genesis. And I was like, what, have you ever a track called The Conqueror? No. <laughs> so we put it on and he sat open mouthed. And then it came out, well, to be, well, to be honest, Peter Gabriel's first couple of solo records are really good. And I was like, oh, okay. Uh, okay. Yeah. So I'll dedicate that to Johnny, who the pair of us sat and then listened to that record and was like, can't believe how good it is. Can't believe how good it is. Yeah. It's brilliant.